Hey guys, the chickens here. Back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, happy to say we did pull some stuff together. And although it is very rough right now, if you watch this video right through to the end, we will get you sorted. We're going to get you some good stuff, some good tips to use uh, in warships to get you off to the right start. Also, guys, if you do um, enjoy the videos or whatever, I do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. <clears throat> I know I say it in every video, but it does help to support the channel, and it gets erased every seven days. So I appreciate it if you're going to pick up instant trading or anything like that for this season. So, oh man, let's take a look at this. So <clears throat> I was pulling my hair out all day, honestly, just to try to figure something out, something out that was consistent and that was actually going to work. So actually, if you watch yesterday's video, uh, the base that I was using... <clears throat> was actually a decoy base and if you look I pinned the comment of the guy saying like ah you fell for it so you got to be careful with bases that you copy on the leaderboard sometimes guys will do that where um they'll you know they'll use their base and then they'll swap it out or they'll erase it and they'll they'll put up like a fake base and uh yeah just make sure that the base is actually good now I, I made sure to say that yesterday's base was not working so I hope nobody actually tried to copy it this base very good very very good as soon as I switched to this and I switched the attack, which I think was actually more important. <clears throat> That's when we started winning. So let's go over the uh, let's go over the tech tree first. Now there's so many different paths this season. There's so many different things you can do. I mean, you can be from four to five to six ER right now, um, and it really just depends. So what I'm doing right now is I'm saving up for six. Um, you know. Whether or not that's the best way to go, I'm not going to switch my whole tech tree out to start going defensive or to start going uh, barrage artillery or anything like that. Now, if you can get shock launchers, that's a good push point. Um, if, you, if you're if you in 4ER, I think at this point I would just stay. I would max out all the defenses and then I would go up. That's typically if you're like in warships, if you're not doing well and you're not getting rank chests and you're not ranking up really quickly and you're, and you're hanging back and you're in you know gold or iron too long typically it's always the same the best idea is just to go fully defensive because then by the time you go to the next engine room you're not going to face bases that are harder than yours you're, you're going to face people that have the same tech as you um <clears throat> so yeah that, that's typically the way to go if you're falling behind um and then it's the opposite if you're going forward you want to kind of skip everything grab what's good offensively the the minimum thing that's good offensively and then dive into the next engine room um so that's kind of what i'm trying to doing kind of what i'm trying to be doing um <clears throat> just grabbing the bare minimum um that we need to go forward now heavy choppers was a mistake technically because it wasn't the right move uh for right now there's they're still not really helping us out that much today but they're going to help us out in the long run so it's not like wasted keys but it's just like i, I think i should have went to six and then got heavy choppers and then move forward so either way that's where we're at for right now my plan next is to go to six engines um if you guys went uh, a different route you know um I, I would say get to shock launchers um first uh, those are going to be good at, uh, at at five yard for sure they're going to help you last a little bit longer um and then make the jump and uh, go into six from there. But uh, but yeah, so that's where we're at in terms of texture. I know it's kind of all over the place, but that's really what it is this season. It's hard to say, you know, this is the best and this is the best. It just depends where you are and what your rank is. Um, and there's a couple different options. But yeah, overall, if you're falling behind, grab some defense. If you're crushing it, then you probably already know what you're doing and, and just keep moving forward. So um, <clears throat> yeah, if you guys are looking for a 5 ER base, this one is great. Um, and yeah, so let's go over the attacks next uh let's see which one was my best this one was my best so we'll show this um yeah so what we're doing now is this is a now i tried everything i tried everything this morning i tried all heavy choppers i tried two heavies and six heavy choppers like we were using yesterday i tried uh two heavy choppers and six bombardiers which was kind of okay um i didn't resort back to using heavies because i, I do think heavy choppers are better than a boat of heavies um basically in every scenario it's it's pretty rare otherwise unless you're doing um you know a, a heavy rush for speed but um <clears throat> yeah so i tried everything this was the the only thing that consistently got me um somewhat better time still nothing like crazy but at least like 220 plus um for the most part some of them i screwed up but yeah so basically all we do is we're using six heavy choppers um, throw in Kavan, it doesn't matter if he does anything, if he dies early on, it doesn't make a difference, I'm, I'm not using his second wind abilities, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so then we go around the world, starting from the left, exactly like we did there, 
Um, you know, depending on the base layout, but for the most part, the base layouts are all kind of similar. They're all kind of the same. They're going to have the engine spread around the, uh, the border like this in, in some manner, just kind of, you know, the sky shield changes. This one was nice because I was able to, um, I was able to flare that corner there. So you see right there, as we're doing that, as the, the, the last choppers are on that engine room, just be careful about the flare. Um, if you're able to reflare, so what we do here next is we drop the two bombers and then they take whatever the closest engine room is to the beach, uh, to the landing point. So we do that, but you just have to be mindful of that flare. Like we did a ground flare there. So as I put the bombers out, you see they're not going towards the flag. They're going towards that flare, right? So <clears throat> as they come out, they're going this way. And then we flare them back onto the engine room once, uh, our heavy choppers have taken that one down. And this is going to save you like... I don't know, 20 seconds or so um, before the heavy choppers get there. The bombers are able to just rip right through it. So that's the idea and kind of like the best case scenario. Uh, so let's try it live now. We're on a little win streak here. And see if we can make it work. And all we're trying to do right now is just coll simply collect diamond chests. Uh, I'm not worried about rank. I'm not worried about uh, where we're at in global. We just got to keep collecting diamond chests. Um, and I haven't missed any since we got into diamond. I haven't had to go back just yet. Uh, we might have to soon, but... So this base, yeah, this will be the same thing. It'll actually be easier, easy for bombers to clear that, but the whole attack comes down to how well they clear everything that's underneath the sky shield. So, yeah, that's all we got to try to do is just go left, hit all the engine rooms in a row, and then we're going to, at some point, put the last two bombers down there. <clears throat> now, I'm going to let him get a little bit ahead of us on the scout time. Just to, uh, you know, it's kind of like a mind game. <clears throat> Okay, let's go now. <laughs> I don't know how much that actually helps. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Kavon, click on a heavy chopper, flare over this way, and yeah, you want to get that first flare out pretty quick. Kavon's gonna die instantly. It doesn't matter. You want to get that first flare out pretty quick, um, and then yeah, this one's gonna be tough. I, I don't like how this base is set up. Uh, I think we're gonna do a ground flare from the left. Let's go like that. And it just depends. I mean, it just depends on how they how, how they clear and how they split. Um, I flare them on the bottom left here. I think that's going to be kind of nice because um, it's going to force them all down. Oh, I actually missed an engine room. What am I doing? Uh, it's okay. We can go back and grab it in a sec. We'll take the sky shield down first, I guess. Um, actually, that's not, a, that's not really that bad because we're going to dump out a lot of heavies uh, for the next few seconds. So let's go up like this, and then I guess we're going kind of around the world here. Um, use critters a couple times to clear shock mines. That's basically all they're good for. Uh, and then we want to make our push. Okay, 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 okay. This actually kind of worked out well. So let's see. We can't be too focused on what our opponent is doing. Because we can only do the best that we can. Now, I don't want to throw the bombers out just yet. Because we're not close to taking down that engine. I'm going to throw them out now. Because he's got a lot of open space. And they have a lot of ground to uh, to get over. I actually could have... Looking back on it now, I could have thrown them out a little bit earlier. Uh, but we've got like a 10 second... A 10 second start on this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we'll go like that. <clears throat> That's the idea. It's hard to get it perfect every single time, but uh, yeah, 210. A little bit slow. I kind of screwed up there by not taking out that first engine before we, we did the ground flare. Uh, I think that cost us a little bit longer time than uh, than we wanted, but... <sighs> a win streak, of course, too. So now this is going to bring us back to just on the brink of diamond. Oh, man. This, this is how it's been. This is how it's been. And it's, it's frustrating because it's... It's so crucial when you're in between ranks, and that's exactly where we're, where we are right now. We're all we're the like it, it's a really bad time to push. All the tech is is not helping us, and we're just wavering in between twenty and twenty one. So it, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating, but ah, <sighs> that's warships, right? So let's go. He's got two over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw out the doctor because why not? Doesn't cost us anything. This base should be a little bit easier just going by the layout. Um, typically, you, you'd rather have your heavy choppers going against the sky shield as they're still dropping out heavies. Because um, you're going to do a little bit more damage. Uh, I missed that mortar. 
Actually, it doesn't really matter because we're not throwing the bombers at anytime soon. Um, okay, so then we're going like this. Yeah, it's just tough. That guy actually got a pretty, you know, 211 is not a gr good time, but... Um, yeah, now when I look at this, our bombers are going to need uh, some help over there by the time we throw them down. This guy's also got a top 50 trophy, so he knows what he's doing. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rush, rush, rush. We need to win this if we're going to collect our chest and diamond. If not, uh, look at that. Snappy, snappy, snappy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, we can't really improve on the time of our flares or anything. Okay, so we're going like this. We got a good good bunch of heavies left. I don't know where we're going to get in terms of time, though. It doesn't look that great at the moment. Okay, okay. Let's go critters here. And let's go critters there. 222. It's not looking too bad. Oh, I got another I got another critter bucket. Go, 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 go. Shoot, 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 shoot. 216. 216. That's viable. That's viable. I don't know. It's going to be close. I don't know if... Uh, I forget who scouted longer. Lenny B3, B31. Come on, Lenny. Yes. 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 We got him. We're going to collect our diamond chest. So... Oh, man, it's tough. It's tough, but we can make it work. And we just got to hope and pray that we can get to six engines sooner than later because I think, uh, well, that, that that's our next play. That's our, that's our next push. So, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out. <clears throat> there's the base. There's the attack. There's the tech stuff. There's basically everything that we're doing right now. Um, and, yeah, nothing else that I used on offense was working. Nothing else was even close to this in terms of um, get consistently getting better times. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If it did, um, just make sure to stay tuned. We're going to be posting more stuff about Season 25 each and every single day. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next time, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.